Good morning, welcome to weekly vlog number 46. My name is Steve and of course I do this uh, Steve official YouTube channel. It's Saturday morning and I'm currently on my way to work. Two bits of news to bring to you. Tom Hardy has confirmed that Venom 2 is currently filming. Meanwhile, Amazon Prime Originals The Boys Season 2 has wrapped filming. So I've just gotten into work and I've just demolished my peanut uh, butter on toast for breakfast and I'm going to have my banana in a second. Also I've got a cup of, uh, a flask of uh, tea to start my day and look at my hands. <laughs> my hands all blue, a pen exploded in my pocket and I had my hand in my pocket and look at my hand, it's all blue, oh that's not good. Between now and which at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog it's 25 to 7 so for the next 25 minutes I'm going to be listening to some music. It's Saturday night, I have just got home from work at the time of it being 5pm at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog. I'm just about to get out of my work uniform now. Watching season 12 of The Simpsons on my TV. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and I am currently watching Marvelous. The Simpsons Marvelous. on my TV. Okay, so I'm just about to get myself dressed, but before I do, let's open up my curtains. Let's see what's going on outside this morning. It's looking a little bit dry, and it's looking all right. It's just cloudy, really. Uh, I'm just about to switch my fan off as well, and like I say, I am now just about to get dressed this morning. So I'm just currently taking Buddy out on the field uh, for a morning walk. Did Buddy have his hair cut yesterday? Yeah, did Buddy have his hair cut? Just about to have some breakfast. For breakfast today, I've got some Cray cereal. It's Sunday morning, it's quarter past 11 and I'm just about to go and see my nephew for his birthday in Basingstoke. with my nephews Caden and Lucas. It was Caden's birthday today so of course happy birthday to Caden. Um, anyway so it is Saturday, uh, Sunday night sorry and basically uh, what happened today was very eventful to be honest, very eventful indeed. Um, so what happened was uh, there was a party uh, with loads of kids, loads of screaming kids. So there was music, there was pass the parcel. Um, you know, there was a musical bums game where they had to sit down on the floor as quickly as possible when the music stopped. It was a bit like musical chairs. Um, you know, of course there was a bouncy castle as well. There was food. There was a big Spider-Man cake which you saw in the montage just now. Um, honestly, it was such a great, great day to be honest. Really enjoyed it to be honest. Um, so of course, happy fourth birthday to Caden. Good morning. You might have noticed we've another fresh look here on ITV with resident artist Sam Curtis taking on the challenge this week. To find out more about that, search ITV Creates for more details. Now, time to kickstart your Monday with Good Morning Britain. Find out how the campmates are settling into those hammocks tonight when brand new I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here continues at nine. We're live now on ITV with Holly and Philip for this morning. Dickinson's Real Deal is at two and 48 model cats land on one of our dealers' tables when the Duke and his team are in Staffordshire to find today's Bobby Dazzler. Time for our first catch-up of the week with Loose Woman now and guests Joey Essex and Corey's Beverly Callard on ITV. We're off to Staffordshire with David Dickinson in half an hour for Real Deal. First here on ITV, all the latest now with the lunchtime news. New quiz show where no one leaves till someone wins is at five with Bradley Walsh. That's new cash trapped. Now on ITV, it's Bobby Dazzler time. Here's Dickinson's Real Deal. 
Monday night. I've just got home from work and just got out my work uniform. Just about to take Buddy out now for a quick walk around the block. Disney has revealed dates for five mysterious MCU titles. That's uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe titles. And these are the dates for those five mysterious MCU titles. So we've got October 7th, 2022. February 17th, 2023. May 5th, 2023. July 28th, 2023. And there's even a Marvel movie coming out on my birthday, November 3rd, 2023 as well. There's a few more Disney updates to bring to you. So there are no Star Wars film scheduled changes. Uh, the Kingsman moves from February 14th, 2020 to uh, September 18th, 2020. A new Pixar film uh, drops March 11th, 2022 and June 16th, 2023. Uh, there's going to be a new Disney animation film which will be dropping on November 22nd, 2023. Disney Plus has promised to roll out The Simpsons' original 4-3 aspect ratio in early 2020 after responses to a fan outcry of the original Simpsons seasons from seasons 1 to 20 were in full widescreen um, format rather than uh, their original 4-3 aspect ratio. So I've got a bit of news to bring you guys. So um, as I'm talking to you right now, I am using my uh, Sony A5100 camera uh, to vlog. And I have been for the last year or so now. Anyway, um, I've got a few faults with my camera now because for some weird reason the zooming in option does not work properly. I don't know why, it just stops working and it won't let me zoom in or out properly at all. I mean, literally, if I try and zoom in, it literally... Literally, I will show you again, hold on. This is what happens when I zoom in, right? Literally, my hand's here, right? And I'm holding the camera, but I'm literally not doing anything. Weirdly, the zooming in option is just not working properly, which is so annoying. Um, and to be honest, well, this camera is a, feels a little bit bulky, to be honest, um, around the edges. So anyway, this new camera that I'm getting is a Canon uh, G7X Mark II camera, and it is so much better. It's got a lot more features on it. I could do cinematic mode on it. I could do time lapses on it. I can... Um, you know, I can be able to shoot my camera up to the sky and be able to look to see what's going on um, on the screen thanks to the uh, the flip screen on it, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and there is just so much more as well, so many really cool features. Uh, I will do a review on it, and of course I will show you guys it. Um, in a YouTube video um, very soon. It should be coming to me at some point, maybe towards uh, the end of this week or the beginning of next week. So I will start using it to vlog and stuff uh, very soon. But it's coming with a case and it's coming with a 32 gig memory card as well, which is really awesome. Um, and yeah, so I really can't wait to try it out. And also as well, it looks like as if it can take really professional photos on it. And I mean really professional photos on it which be ideal for my instagram account and stuff like that um so anyway so that is going to be happening okay now of course i'm still going to be using this camera every now and then i'll probably take it with me to maybe some events at, with the bournemouth bloggers people or you know i might use it just for everyday use like for taking selfies of me and stuff and obviously sticking them on uh to instagram or other social media pages that i use um but yeah, I think this new camera is going to be really, really good. And there are a few YouTubers that I've known in the past that have used a Canon camera to uh, to vlog with, and it's so much it's so much better. So really can't wait to start using it. Watching uh, season thirteen of The Simpsons on my donut. TV. Just about to put my iron in away. Just about to take Buddy for his last walk of the evening. Just about to shut my curtains. Just about to get my pyjamas on and get myself into bed. It's Tuesday night, just got home from work after doing 7am till 4pm shift and I've just taken Buddy out for a quick walk around the block. Just gave my chinchillas some fresh food and water in their cage and tidied up around their cage area as well with the hoover. Just about to get out my work uniform. Just put my Bluetooth headphones on charge. Just made a cup of tea. 
I don't think I've told you guys this, but um, for the last sort of month or so, uh, I've been speaking to um, someone from Canada um, who is a gamer, by the way. Um, her name is Andrea. I thought I'd give her a shout out during this week's weekly vlog. She's watched a couple of my weekly vlogs and she said they're not too bad, so which is pretty awesome. Uh, but she's a Twitch streamer, so uh, I said to her that I would give her a mention in this week's weekly vlog. So, of course, I've gave her a name a mention, but why not give her Twitch account a mention as well? Of course, give her a follow on Twitch if you are a Twitch user. Her username is xxromoninjas. XX, the uh, obviously the uh, Twitch username is obviously on your screens at the bottom there as well to give her a follow. Uh, and you can also give her a follow on Twitter as well. It's the same username as her Twitch username. And of course, give her a follow on Instagram. She's a recent uh, person to join Instagram. She's one of the new Instagrammers on Instagram. Give her a follow. It's XX Tiny Ninja XX. That is her uh, social media platform followers, uh, or followings, should I say, if you want to give her a follow on either one of those uh, social media pages. Hey, now watching The Simpsons on my TV. Come on! Okay, this part of the weekly vlog comes with a little bit of a warning, okay? The warning is that you might have a bit of a watery mouth after this part of the weekly vlog is over, okay? But I'm now going to talk about KFC and... McDonald's because they have launched their Christmas menus so without further ado let's start and look at the Christmas menus from KFC and McDonald's so we're gonna start with KFC first and we are talking about the KFC festive burger here's a photo of the KFC festive burger so what makes these new additions good enough for you to part with your cash well, combining the forces of the original recipe fillet with a hash brown, sage and onion stuffing, mayo, cranberry dressing and cheese, the cul culinary uh, boffins have created something to please everyone with their KFC festive burger. And that's not it either. The fried chicken giant has also launched its festive fries. Here's a photo of the festive fries, uh, which have been sprinkled with a heap of smoky seasoning of toasted onions, pepper, garlic and herbs. By itself, uh, the sandwich will set you back the pricely sum of £4.59, or you can opt for a meal for £5.59. But... If you're feeling extra Christmassy, you can go all in with a fes festive burger box meal for £6.89, which comes with the burger, drink, fries, as well as a side of baked beans and a chicken drumstick too. And once you're done with your main, you can move on to dessert, of course, the best part of any meal. Uh, to help round things off after all that meat that you've consumed, you can pick up their new mint chocolate crushum soft serve and here's a photo of that uh, mint chocolate crushum soft serve uh, which you can pick up uh, for £2.79 which is packed with tons of extra calorific goodness including a dollop of vanilla ice cream chocolate and mint sauce as well as sprinklings of cookie crunch and a glittery chocolate bow tie to top it off too um so there we go that is the kfc christmas menu and it is available right now let's now move on to the mcdonald's christmas menu for 2019 and we're going to start with the big tasty burger so let's take a look at the big tasty burger in photo form uh so this is the big tasty burger which is four pound 29 for an individual uh big tasty burger or 5.89 for a medium meal plus you can get a big tasty burger with bacon which costs 4.69 for an individual big tasty uh, burger with bacon or £6.29 for the medium meal and as you can see in that photo as well there's also cheese dippers added to the Christmas menu too and they are camembert uh, cheese dippers too. 
so of course this is available at your local McDonald's store right now. Let's move on to the next one uh, added to the Christmas menu at McDonald's this year and it is the Chicken Deluxe. So let's take a look at a photo of the Chicken Deluxe. Uh, it is now available to buy on the Christmas menu in McDonald's. It costs £5.19 for an individual Chicken Deluxe or £6.59 for a medium meal. And then let's move on to the one final thing that's uh, on the Christmas menu at McDonald's this year, which is the Quality Street Matchmakers McFlurry, which is now available on the Christmas menu uh, at McDonald's. And it comes in small and medium sizes and costs 99p for the mini McFlurry and 139 for the medium size McFlurry. So that is is everything that is appearing on this year's McDonald's Christmas menu 2019. So it's Tuesday night, I've just had my dinner at 9 o'clock this evening which was uh, chicken with chips and baked beans and now I'm just about to get my coat on and take Buddy out for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood. Just about to shut my curtains. Just about to get my pyjamas on and get myself into bed. Welcome to Wednesday afternoon on the weekly vlog. It is Wednesday the 20th of November 2019. But, you know what, let's scrap the whole Wednesday the 20th of November 2019 because this is called Wednesday Festive. Or Festive, Wen Festive Wednesday, that's it. Festive Wednesday. Here we go. So, welcome to Festive Wednesday. Uh, it's a one week only little feature on this week's weekly vlog and basically what it is is obviously you guys are about to see some montage of me at the uh, Bournemouth Christmas Tree Wonderland and of course you'll also see some montage of the Greg's Festive Bake that I'll have very shortly and of course uh, you'll see uh, some montage of my Weatherspoons uh, meal a little bit later on as well as maybe a McDonald's McCafe, a festive McCafe, maybe. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so that's happening right now. Anyway, so enjoy this montage of Get Ready, because it's going to be festive.
Christmas Tree Wonderland in Bournemouth. I'm going to admit, this year's Christmas Tree Wonderland is so much better than last year's Christmas Tree Wonderland. I'm not going to lie. Reason being is because there is so much more decorations, so much more Christmas decorations um, in this year's Christmas Tree Wonderland than there was last year. And uh, to be honest with you, every um, bit of montage that you saw there uh, from the Christmas Tree Wonderland, that was literally every... Um, that was literally every Christmas decoration that there was at this year's Christmas Tree Wonderland in Bournemouth, um, in Bournemouth Gardens. Uh, now, I didn't really look at the... Um, at the markets in the Bournemouth Square, so, um, but I do know that they've got a couple of good markets though in Bournemouth Square. I know they've got the return of the Yorkshire Pudding Wrap, which is technically a roast dinner uh, inside a Yorkshire Pudding type wrap. Um, so it does look really, really good to be honest. Um, anyway, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, but anyway, uh, uh, Christmas Tree Wonderland is available for you guys to go down and check out. It is at Bournemouth Lower Gardens here in Bournemouth. Um, and literally, it's just right next to the beach here in Bournemouth as well. I'm not going to lie, it was very chilly while I was recording all that footage and taking photos as well. It was really, really chilly, um, but that's because it was really windy and obviously I was right by the sea as well. Um, but it was definitely worth it though. It was still worth it, you know. Um, so... <laughs> So yeah, so anyway, check out Bournemouth's Christmas Tree Wonderland. It is available uh, to go down and check out right now. Um, from now up until the 2nd of January 2020. Now, um, that is not all of the Christmassy bits that we've got coming up. Uh, because coming up later on this month, in fact, it will be um, part of next week's weekly vlog. Uh, of course, there is a little shopping centre near where I live um, where they're going to be turning on their Christmas lights. And of course, I will be attending that uh, next week. That's happening on Friday the 29th of November. So I'm going to include that as part of next week's uh, weekly vlog. So that's going to be happening. I just very quickly want to talk to you uh, about the... Uh, festive bake from Greg's because honestly that tasted absolutely lovely um, I really did enjoy the festive bake from Greg's it is available to buy right now it is £1.55 at your local Greg's store um, last Christmas I again very quickly want to talk to you about last Christmas because I went to the cinema as you saw in that montage and I watched the film last Christmas, which stars uh, Game of Thrones uh, star uh, Amelia Clark uh, as Kate, and the film was absolutely fantastic. And do you want to know something? It really, in a very nice but subtle way, and you will find out why if you go and watch the movie, but it definitely references the 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 song last christmas by mike uh, by george michael um you know in such a subtle but really lovely way you know it's got such a shock twist to the tale of the story at, towards the end of the movie but at, at the same time it's quite emotional as well but i mean anyway so the film was absolutely fantastic i could literally go and watch that movie again because so fantastic and I can tell that is going to be a Christmas classic to go back and watch um honestly it it was just absolutely fantastic you know I mean there was obviously a lot of George Michael tracks thrown in there you know some of George Michael's classic songs in there you know there was obviously a little bit of a George Michael reference and a little bit of a Bre uh, Brexit reference as well. Uh, the movie is set in London in 2017, so, you know, um, so of course it is around about the time when obviously the UK was going through the whole Brexit thing and, you know, and stuff like that, which again is really nice. Um, you know, so it is a really good film. Um, 
and I would totally go and watch it again. Uh, you know, it has got a lot of funny lines in it as well. So I was laughing uh, throughout the movie as well because it was quite funny. Um, some really funny scenes in it. Um, honestly, really worth checking it out. It's called Last Christmas. It is available right now at your local cinema. So go and check it out. But apart from that... That is everything that I've got to tell you about Christmas Tree Wonderland, Greg's Festive Bake and of course Last Christmas at the Cinema. Now I am a massive fan of Doctor Who and I mean you can tell because over there I've got a Doctor Who photo which is actually a jigsaw. Um, but anyway I watched half of series 11 last year. Uh, when series 11 came out which was the first season that we saw a female doctor take over the role as the doctor um, well a female actress should I say took over the role as the doctor and uh, obviously it was Jodie Whittaker who played the doctor in that season and of course she's back again for another season of Doctor Who which is season 12 series 12 um, and series 12 obviously it hasn't been on screen this year uh, Doctor Who has been taking a whole year off the last time we actually saw the Doctor she was battling a Dalek uh, who was actually weirdly out of its Dalek shell anyway um, but anyway so that was back on New Year's Day earlier this year anyway Doctor Who is uh, going to be back in 2020 and it's safe to say we can now start talking about Doctor Who uh, so Doctor Who will be back in 2020 on BBC One here in the UK and obviously over in the States on BBC America um, however uh, there's two big guest stars who are going to be joining the lineup on this year's Doctor Who or, or should I say in 2020's Doctor Who series 12 and they are Stephen Fry and Sir Lenny Henry they have just been announced to be guest starring in the next series of Doctor Who however the Daily Mirror which is the UK newspaper uh, outlet here in the UK uh, has reported and has said it exclusively that Doctor Who series 12 will begin from New Year's Day 2020 and of course the series will then continue I believe from the 4th of January and according to this uh, this um, report as well it has been said that Doctor Who will be returning back to its Saturday night slots Last year, Doctor Who was on Sunday nights, but according to the Daily, Mi uh, Daily Mirror, uh, Doctor Who will be returning back to its Saturday night tea time slot on BBC One. And it is also going to be opening the series with a two-part special of Doctor Who, and it is going to be the most dramatic episode in the show's history according to uh, the publication. It's also been revealed in the same publication that next year's festive episode, whether it's going to be uh, on Christmas Day or New Year's Day 2021, has already been filmed and will feature the Daleks in it. Um, so whether or not this has been confirmed or not is yet to be confirmed, of course. Um, but that does mean that for the second year in a row, there uh, there will not be a special Doctor Who episode on screen on Christmas Day this year. While we know the PS5 is due to arrive before the end of 2020, we still don't know exactly when to expect the next-gen console. However, a recent leak suggests that the PS5 will be releasing on November 20th, 2020, and if that leak is true, that means that the PS5 will be released in exactly 366 days from today. Obviously next year being a leap year. And it will be priced 
at the fairly eye-watering price of $499 over there in the States. That's roughly £380 here in the UK. As always, take this unofficial information with a hearty pinch of salt. Let's go digital reports that the alleged price point and release date for the PS5 was leaked by a Twitter user by the name of P.S. Erebus, who uh, previously corrected, uh, correctly leaked the initial release date for The Last of Us Part 2, uh, you know, before Naughty Dog went and pushed their game back to May. Fans of Grand Theft Auto GTA uh, believe we might not have too long to wait until the game's next instalment thanks to a new job listing on Rockstar Games' website. The developer behind the franchise posted the listing for an animation systems programmer on its website recently, which Eagle Eye fans think this is directly related to the release of GTA 6. Rockstar Games called for an individual to help develop advanced animation systems for large uh, open world character based games in their advert, which something which sounds suspiciously similar to the game in question. While the job listing doesn't explicitly say the company is looking to hire someone to work on GTA 6, direct comparisons can be made between that and the game. It's Thursday morning, I've just woke up at the time of it being at 25 to 8 and now I'm just about to get dressed. So I'm just about to switch my fan off, there we go, my fan is switching off and now I'm just about to open up my curtains and see what's going on outside my bedroom window this morning. It is looking a little bit cloudy, looks as though it's been raining a little bit last night as well but I think the sun is trying to come up though this morning. It's that time of the morning where I'm just about to have some breakfast now and for breakfast today I'm having the usual which is craze cereal. So I'm just on my way to Audi to go and get a few things from Audi and then after that I'm then going off to Asda as well to pick up some sawdust for my chinchillas as I've totally run out of sawdust and I'm also going to be listening to some music while I'm on my way doing the shopping in both Audi and Asda. Okay so here's what I brought from Audi and from Asda so let's start off with Asda first and I brought this Smart Pet wood shavings uh, for my chinchilla cage which I'll be cleaning out a little bit later on. And then I picked up some cheese puffs, some bacon rashers, some tortilla chips there, uh, some digestives and 12 Jaffa cakes, some mince pies, which is a six pack, a white milk and dark chocolate. I also picked up some uh, instant noodles. I picked two chicken uh, flavoured instant noodles up and I picked two bacon flavoured instant noodles up as well. And then finally I picked up a chocolate fudge flavoured uh, chocolate milkshake and some orange juice which is smooth with no bits. So that's everything that I bought at Aldi and at Asda today. Just about to make myself a cup of tea. Now watching The Simpsons Season 13, Episode 13 on my laptop. Currently drinking a chocolate milkshake. Still feeling in the festive spirit at the moment as I'm listening to some Christmas music on my MacBook which is there. And while I'm doing that I'm also cleaning out my chinchillas cage as well. So I'm now just about to have some bacon flavoured instant noodles for lunch and I have just put the saucepan with some water in and it's all ready to boil now. Just made my noodles. Just about to load up the dishwasher and put the dishwasher on. Taking Buddy out for his walk across the field and it looks like as if it's going to rain anytime soon. Buddy. Hello boy. Buddy, come on then. Look at him go! Come on buddy! Good boy! <laughs> Thursday night and I've just got back from seeing my support worker for four hours and today we went to the cinema to go and watch The Aeronauts which was a very confusing film to be honest I didn't quite understand the story. All I got from it was a scientist and a woman went up in a balloon and they went as high up as they possibly could and then they came back down to earth again. That's all that I got 
from that film. Very confusing. Anyway, um, so uh, if you do want to watch the Aeronauts and maybe get as confused as what I was, then go check it out. It's in cinemas right now. Um, anyway, so that is what I did with my support worker today. So I am currently watching on my phone um, my friend Andrea from Canada streaming on Twitch. But for the first time ever, I'm going to zoom in on this. Look, there she is. She's using a face cam while she's playing Fortnite. There's the Fortnite game. There's her face cam. There's the Fortnite game. There's her face cam. There we are anyway. So she's streaming right now on Twitch. Thursday night, just got back from taking Buddy for a walk around the block and I'm now just about to take off my coat and get into some pyjamas and I think I might actually head off to bed as I'm feeling very tired so I'm just also about to shut my curtains as well. Night world, see you tomorrow. Friday morning, it's 25 to 8 at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog and I've just woke up and now I'm just about to get dressed. What well, the weather's doing outside this morning, it's looking a little bit windy and damp as well. So I'm just about to have some breakfast and for breakfast today I'm having the usual which is craze cereal. Just made myself a cup of tea. Watching the autopsy of Jane Doe movie on my laptop. Now watching the recently released Lady and the Tramp on my laptop. Now drinking some apple juice. Just got back from taking Buddy for his 11am walk around the block. Watching Noel on my laptop. Having some orange juice. It's Friday lunchtime and I'm just about to cook up some chicken flavoured noodles. Now watching the movie Crawl on my laptop. Robbie Williams has got a brand new album that's come out today called The Christmas Present which you guys can listen to right now via Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music and of course you can purchase it through his website which is robbywilliams.com. Coldplay have a brand new album out which is available to listen to via Spotify, uh, Amazon Music, Apple Music and of course is available to buy on CD in all good retailers. Will Young has got a brand new single out now which is called A Christmas Time and you're, uh, you're able to listen to that via Apple Music, Amazon Music and Spotify. Little Mix have a brand new Christmas song out now which you guys can listen to via Apple Music, Spotify and Amazon Music. Taskmaster is moving channels, so originally it was airing on the TV channel Dave here in the UK, but it's now moving to the UK channel uh, Channel 4 uh, from 2020. The Series 12 trailer for Doctor Who will be landing here in the UK tomorrow at 3pm UK time. So watch next week's weekly vlog if you want to see my reaction and my thoughts to the Series 12 trailer. Just about to hoover around my chinchillas cage. Just about to set up my Xbox One console ready to play some Fortnite Chapter 2 at 4pm on my Twitch stream which I'm about to be doing very shortly. Just about to make myself a cup of tea. Daniel Craig has reiterated that No Time to Die which is the next James Bond film in the James Bond franchise will be the last movie that he will be playing as James Bond. Happy birthday to the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One which was released on November 22nd. 30 years ago today and Back to the Future Part 2 dropped. That's it from me. Thank you for everyone who has watched this week's weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Your next weekly vlog will be coming up for you next week on Friday. Uh, so please do join me for that. Next week we've got the Castle Point Christmas Light switch on. And uh, yeah, there'll just be, there'll be loads of other things coming up really. Uh, so that is all from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.